With the increasing number of Kiwis travelling overseas each year to more and more exotic and developing countries, our expert today is here to help us understand how to be healthy, safe and secure when we travel overseas. Welcome Dr Mark Shaw from Worldwide Travellers Health and Vaccination Centres. Thank you. Now Mark, you were, you've travelled extensively all over the world obviously. I've been fortunate, it's one of the excitements of this job. And you were, got to go there. And you were Sir Peter, well you've got to test their things out don't you? I do. And I you do. were Sir Peter Blake's side doctor at one time and you travelled yes, with him. You were in the Amazon in, with him. I was indeed, I was in the Amazon at that most tragic time. Gosh that must have been an awful experience. Quite horrific and indeed taught me a lot about safety and security issues which I think are very ignored now mm. when people are are young men and women going overseas they do need to be pretty safe and secure yeah. and they need to be aware of it and here in New Zealand we're just so far away from everything that often we forget about that. We do, so what are the things that we really need to think about when we are travelling overseas? Well you need to think of your own personal safety what happens if a crisis occurs who do you call when things go wrong what to do, where to go. That's why I think it's important to get some advice from people who know this stuff. And who've been there and done that. Right, and I think that going to these places, uh, fortunately, I'm, I'm, I must say, being able to travel gives me a bit of an inkling as to the safety and security issues, whether they be vaccinations, yep. whether they be anti-malarials. If you're going to some of these regions, you need to have an awareness of these situations to be alerted to situations, not, to, not alarmed. I don't think people need to be alarmed about travel. It's the most exciting thing you can yes. do, as we've just been talking. I love it. Well, we have, and we've been talking about a lot of our viewers are, are traveling to places like South America, right. Southeast Asia, yes. Bali was mentioned. What are the potential risks in those sort of places? Well, there's some vaccines that you need to consider. Hepatitis A and typhoid seem to be quite similar, uh, similarly disposed and required in those areas, as indeed they are in the Pacific now, yeah. as a result of some of the disasters that occurred in the Pacific. Typhoid's the one that gives you the sore arm a little bit. Used to, but the new ones are pretty pure and they don't do that so more. Oh, that's good to know. And a skill skill comes into it have to say skill comes into it i must admit it was many moons ago that i got my typhoid injection and even my nurse to, is very good even go to bali you need to go you get need to get in there well especially bali because things like rabies for example i mean the name sounds quite romantic but you really don't want to get the disease mm. and in that uh, in rabies in, in bali they've got that monkey farm that most vicious little monkey farm those little don't sods get should have been those. banned years ago <laughs> Yeah. We have a similar feeling about the monkeys, we absolutely. Do indeed. We do indeed. And obviously you need some of these things too, as you mentioned, for the Pacific Islands as well. Well, Pacific Islands, are, you know, it's not like going north of Auckland. It's a bit more complex and there's a lot of potential of dis-ease going to these regions. You know, statistically, if people are travelling into these places, 100,000 people travelling, about 50% are going to become unwell in some way. So that's quite a significant catch. Uh, that is a significant catch. amount. Indeed. What about altitude sickness? A lot of people going to South America. Yep. Is that something that you have to consider? A lot of our seniors... They used to be geriatrics, but then I became one. So they're now, <laughs> so they're now seniors. A lot, a, lot of our, a lot of our seniors are going to Cusco and Machu Picchu. Mm. And in those areas, there's a lot of altitude sickness. The potential of that is extreme if you're going to those levels. Cusco, Machu Picchu, into Quito and various other places, let alone Nepal, going up to base camp. Mm. Oh, the excitement of those names sounds wonderful, it doesn't does, it? It does, it does. I really want to go somewhere. <laughs> Me too. So what's the number one tip then for anyone who's considering travelling? What should they do? They should see somebody who knows stuff. That's, that, that is the perfect amount of advice. You certainly are an expert, and this is the sort of expert I absolutely love. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Mel. I've got a lot out of that, and I love the fact that we both don't like those nasty little Damn monkeys. monkeys. Thank you for answering all of those questions, Mark. <laughs> Fantastic advice. And if you would like to know more about Dr Mark Shaw's Worldwise Travellers Health and Vaccination Centres, visit the website worldwise.co.nz.